I'd like to welcome everybody to the Crypto Millionaires Club, V Chain number one, 2020. I truly do believe that, guys, and I put together a hell of a video. We're going to highlight Shanghai Blockchain Week, and we're going to highlight Ben York V Chain 101. Actually, he did an amazing recap video on this event, uh, Shanghai Wayne Axe Blockchain Week. But what I was impressed with is some of the players that are involved there speaking on half of VeChain. Uh, one of them is Renato, Renato Gratello, and he is born in my land, working in the world. You pay right for what you get and earn what you earn the right for what you share. Anyway, this is the... He discussed on how VeChain is being implemented into DNV. He works at DNV, uh, heavyweight at DNV. Also, we're going to discuss him, and we're going to discuss Antonio. He is the from Deloitte. He's from Deloitte. He's an executive at Deloitte, um, CTO and co-lead at Deloitte. And he actually spoke at this uh, summit also on behalf of VeChain and this guy from uh, DMV also spoke at this event on the behalf of VeChain. So we're going to cover this right now, guys. You do not want to miss this. I I'm actually, it's kind of amazing some of the massive partnerships that VeChain has. I truly do believe, like Brad Garlinghouse says, uh, you know, we're going to get down to the utility phase of cryptocurrency. And utility will determine the value of each cryptocurrency. So if you're going to go off the utility factor, I think uh, VeChain has a hell of a lot of utility. It starts with this. Shout out to the VeChain retweeter. This is where I get most of my news from. Upcoming interview with Jason Rockwood. Uh, so this is the one that caught my attention this morning right here. Recapping the Shanghai Wayne X Blockchain Week. So I actually clicked on this and this actually brought me to Ben Yorkey. I'm actually glad to actually run into this guy, uh, vchain101.com. I was kind of wondering who was ba uh, the one back in this vchain101. I'd actually like to talk with uh, Ben Yorkie. Um, shout out to Ben. You're doing a hell of a job, bro. So this is the video right here. Finally put together some clips from Shanghai. Anyone who thinks blockchain isn't alive and well in China should take a look. And vchain is front and center of all the action. Don't take it from me. Listen to what DNV and Dolowit had to say. Exactly. I wish I would have read that line first because this is exactly what I just said. But it's, it's much better right here. Now this is it right here. This is the uh, recap in the Shanghai event. Now I will link all this in the description. This is Ben Yorkie right here. Thank you for your hard work you put in. I really appreciate that. Let's take a look. The Shanghai Blockchain Week is hosted by Wayne X Blockchain Labs. Now, I can't play it because of well, the sound because of the music. It's uh, I'm not sure if it's copyright music or not, but I will link this video in the description. Now, what they're going to go into, now this is Renato Grato. He is a director, M&A, and digital transformation at DNV. Now, he's actually going to be speaking on behalf of VeChain. Here he is on stage right here. Um... My name is Ronaldo. I'm working with Digital Transformation Director for this company, which is DNV. And like I said, I did look him up right here uh, in Shanghai to talk about blockchain and how it can reshape trust and support. Uh, it's DNV right here. Um, Sonny Lou. He tagged Sonny Lou in the article right here. So that's amazing. Uh, San Marino, Primo. Uh, blockchain okay it's in a different language right there uh, another small step towards blockchain adoption Sonny Lou and um, another different guy but VeChain official so it's amazing guys that this guy from uh, DN, DN, uh, DMV is actually speaking on behalf on stage of VeChain and he's actually tweeting VeChain and tagging Sonny Lou so you know, one, one of my concerns was the partnerships that I've been down the rabbit hole on VeChain that, you know, the partnerships wasn't updated frequently. Uh, I guess I got spoiled with the uh, Ripple team, you know, because they have a massive team. But as I've been jumping down the rabbit hole of these VeChain relationships, uh, they have been bearing fruit. Like I said, this event just passed the last few days ago. And for them to be speaking on behalf of VeChain, so that clearly shows the relationship is there and thriving. 
Uh, yesterday we heard from Sonny Lou. He's referencing Sonny Lou, of course. The great Sonny Lou. I will interview Sonny Lou one day soon. Now he's basically speaking to him behind the scenes. Um, really good interview. Now there's one more person I wanted to highlight also. Okay, this guy right here. Now, this guy, this guy's big time guy right here. Uh, he is Antonio from De Luito, Antonio Senatora, keynote, key ta, ta, uh, <laughs> blah, keynote, a new technology for a new age. And if you look right here, guys, this is a uh, heavyweight from De Luit. And here's the V chain, and he's basically talking about V chain. Now, I did look him up also. No, I got, I was really impressed with his Twitter page. Uh, Southern Italian living in Ireland since 2007, husband, father of two, global blockchain CTO, and co lead at Deloitte Blockchain Lab. Now, impact matters. Now, he's actually tweeting a lot of good stuff on his page. I will link all this in the description. We're glad to announce that. Um, this is the other guy. Global CTO of Deloitte Blockchain has confirmed his presence at the Shanghai International Blockchain Week. So he actually spoke there, Dublin Blockchain Ecosystem. Uh, there's sometimes R3 here. I'm going to jump a little bit deeper down this soon. But uh, good to see the VeChain ecosystem growing. And he actually retweeted Sunny Lou. Thank you, Coindesk Blockchain Space needs more stories like this to motivate people. Uh, no, this is interesting, guys. He's bullish as hell on VeChain. Swapping VThor, uh, VTHO, VThor to VET from within the VeChain mobile wallet. And he actually retweeted that to show you how it's done. And um, um, migrated physical cert certification uh, certificates to the VeChain public blockchain, uh, DNVG and Dolawit VeChain Vet Vthor. So DNV, I mean, he's actually retweeting DNV with VeChain uh, hashtags. I mean, come on, guys, it doesn't get no better than that. Massive. Uh, everyone is pleased to welcome Antonio, global CTO of Delaware Blockchain, as our latest advisor board member. So, whoa. The CTO from Delaware Blockchain is an advisor board member on VeChain. Wow, looking forward to the VeChain Summit 2019. So, pretty much, guys. Oh, yeah, I also found this from VeChain 101. Introducing BYD's line of vehicles compliant with low carbon ecosystem. Two weeks ago, we brought you a sneak peek at VeChain and DMV, GL's digital low-carbon ecosystem. The ecosystem encourages Chinese citizens to take part in eco-friendly activities by rewarding them with tokens that will be used for discounts and services. Uh, so they kind of go in details of the new vehicles and the uh, technology implemented in the vehicles. So, you know, pretty impressive here. We've actually tied BYD to, uh, to an it's, a it's the largest electric largest electronic car maker in china and we actually i did a video where it shows that warren buffett is invested in byd ben york an american with over 10 years experience in china owning and managing a business um so it looks like he's in china ben yorkie um so we're also going to tag sunny lou we'll put sunny lou in the description you can follow him uh, these heavyweights, guys, speaking at this event on behalf of VeChain, I believe is massive. VeChain number one, 2020. And uh, we'll link VeChain Retweeter in here. Thank you big time for, uh, you know, keeping up with the VeChain information. I use your page often. And I will link Ben York in here also. And the recapping the Shanghai Wayne X Boxing Week. So what do you guys think? I mean, wow, these massive uh, partners speaking on behalf of VeChain at the Shanghai event. I don't think it gets no bigger than that. And you might want to scroll down to this guy's page. I mean, he's bullish as hell. Today in Rome, we launched My Story featuring Italian wineries. Uh, of course, you know, uh, scan the QR code, get the history of the wine, D and V. Uh, can blockchain, it's going to add transparency to the wine uh, companies. So this is massive, guys. VeChain has a lot of stuff going on. I truly believe utility will drive the value. What do you guys think? The CKJ, I mean the Crypto Millionaires Club logo will come down right now. Smash that logo to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your time. Much love. Mahalo. Shout out to the Vet Fam. Peace.